Importing, georeferencing, and draping maps and images onto different surfaces in LeapFrog, including the topography surface, can be very useful for tying 2D surface data into the 3D modeling environment. In this video, we will focus on importing and accurately georeferencing three images using a few different techniques. In a subsequent video, I will demonstrate draping these images onto the topography surface. All supported 2D data in the XY plane is imported into the GIS Data Maps and Photos folder. To import a map or image, right-click Import Map. The Import Map option will allow you to import any image file in the XY plane. If you import a GeoTIFF, as we will start with here, you are importing the image as well as the georeferencing data. GeoTIFFs are the only format that can bring in external georeferencing into LeapFrog. It is important to ensure that the georeference data is in the same coordinate system as the rest of the project data. There is the option to override the existing georeference data if necessary. I will accept the coordinates and click Import. Importing non-georeferenced maps is similar to what we just saw, with the additional step being that you need to place three well-spread markers on the map and enter Eastings and Northings for each so that LeapFrog knows where the map is located in space. The registration is much more accurate if the three markers are placed in a wide triangular pattern. If the markers are too close to being in a straight line, the registration will not be accurate so the image will appear skewed when displayed in the scene. There are two methods for registering a non-georeferenced image and deciding which one to use is dependent on whether or not your map or image has coordinate information available. First, we will look at the process of importing a non-georeferenced map that does have coordinates available. Click on marker 1 to activate it in the image. Drag it to a known coordinate location on the map and enter the coordinate values. Repeat for the other two markers. To place the marker as accurately as possible, you can scroll and pan across the image using the mouse scroll wheel and click and drag respectively. The second method can be used if there are no coordinates on the map, but there are identifiable areas in the topography. To use this method, we will need to view the topography surface beside the map, so we will pull the Import Map tab away by simply clicking and dragging it away. I'll place the Import Map tab beside the topography in the scene. Click on Marker 1 to activate it in the image. Drag it to a distinct location on the map. It may be easier to identify specific points on the map by viewing the topography surface in the scene by elevation, which we can do by using its display dropdown in the shapes list. Next, click on the registration marker here and place it on the topographic surface in the same location as the marker is on the map. Repeat for the other two markers remembering to place them in a wide triangular pattern. If there are any errors in the marker placement, they can be easily edited at any time by simply double-clicking the image in the project tree and making the necessary modifications.